Hey everyone, this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Today is August the 6th, 2020. And um, I'm going to share two stories with you. And um, it's going to be focused on uh, people who, who are being physically abused or they're still going through physical um, abuse. But early this morning... I was uh, just waking up and uh, sometimes I just wake up really, really early, like four o'clock in the morning. And I heard, I heard uh, a guy and a female arguing and they were arguing on the next block behind my house. I couldn't see any faces. Um, it was dark outside the, you know, the lights for uh that's on the side of hot homes were on but i couldn't see any faces either they were in front of a garage or in front of a house on the street all i heard was a bunch of arguing between this guy and this woman and then it escalated to where the woman start hollering out get off of me get off of me so he must have physically did something to her so my, my, I have a huge, huge, huge king size bed. I'm on one side of the king size bed. And all I could do is hear this woman screaming for help. I got across my bed as quickly as I could. Raise the window up um, on the second floor uh, of my house. And um, in my bedroom, I just yelled out the window. I said, stop it! Just stop it right now. And uh, they could hear it. But the guy, he was very adamant with doing whatever it is he was doing to this girl. And then, you know, eventually it stopped. But in between time, I was asking God to stop all that foolishness and all that nonsense. Because I know all the neighbors. Now, unless they just slept straight through it, they heard all that racket going on early in the morning. You know, what looked sound like a woman was getting her tail beat. So, uh, I was getting ready to call 911, but eventually, uh, the dude sounded like he, he, he left. Sound, sound like he drove off and then all the commotion stopped. And I was just praying. I said, God, I hope he didn't force her in a car or I hope the girl is safe. You know, I don't know what's going on, but I didn't hear any more commotion from the girl. Okay. So, I said, Lord have mercy. So my message is to women, you know, as soon as you get wind of a dude having some anger issues, that's a red flag. You need to leave that alone. You ain't got no time for that. You want to be with somebody who already got themselves together in that area. You do not want to be dealing with somebody who's not able to control his anger, which takes me over to a story about my oldest daughter now i've shared this before i have four grown children um two boys and two girls boy girl boy girl in that order my girls they flow in prophetic gifts like i do okay they can see in the realm of the spirit they can hear in the realm of the spirit they can sense in the realm of the spirit I mean, they can feel stuff when they walk around people. You know, they can pick up on people's vibes and stuff. Um, they uh, they get visions and dreams from the Lord. I mean, detailed visions and dreams. And so my oldest daughter was living in Iowa with her husband and her family. And she was wa working for Wells Fargo Bank. Well, my daughter told me one day this new lady came in to work. She's a new co-worker. She was brand spanking new. First day on the job. My daughter said, my oldest daughter, she said, Mom, as soon as that young woman walked past me, I got a bad vibe. It was just it was eerie. And it went all through her spirit. And she said it was so pronounced in her spirit that she, she had to ask God what that was all about. She said, God, what is going on with that lady? What is it that you're, you're, you're letting me know something's wrong? And so... Um, my daughter said the lady was dressed nice. She she looked the part. I mean, she was smiling and friendly. 
my daughter said she went home that night. She got on her knees, was talking to the Lord. She was like, God, what is going on with that lady? My daughter went to sleep. God gave her a very detailed dream. Told her everything. God showed my daughter in a dream that the new co-worker would walk into the apartment with her boyfriend. They weren't married. And the co-worker would come in. She would get everything prepared for her boyfriend. Dinner. House was, you know, together and clean. And then when the boyfriend came home, he didn't say hi. He didn't get uh, start an argument. He just came in punching. He just he just came in throwing fist and was kicking that young girl's tail. My my God was showing that to my daughter in a dream. He was beating that girl so bad. My daughter said, Mom, in the dream, God showed me if that lady didn't get out of that situation, that man was gonna kill her. That's how bad that man was beating that girl. So the next day, my daughter said, she prayed and she talked to God. She said, God, I got to warn this lady. How am I going to warn her? She going to think I'm cuckoo and crazy. Walking up to her, talking about God gave me a dream. And you need to get out of that situation. And giving all the details of this woman's life. You know what I'm saying? But my daughter did it because she said, Mommy, it was such an emergency. So my daughter said during lunch hours, my daughter said she walked over to the young woman. And she said, hey, you know. She says she introduced herself to the lady. She said, like, I know you don't know me or anything, but she says, I'm a Christian. You know, I, I follow God, and God gave me a dream about you last night, and this is what God said in the dream about you. My daughter said that lady just dropped her head and was crying and told my daughter that everything that God showed in the dream was very true and on point and accurate. My daughter gave that young woman a warning. She said, you're going to have to get out of that situation or that man's going to kill you. That's what God showed me in a dream. And then my daughter gave the young woman her telephone number. My daughter said the next day, that girl was gone. She ain't seen the woman. She was like, oh my goodness, I hope that woman didn't die. But the whole time, my daughter was praying, asking God to help the lady escape. Uh, but my daughter was kind of nervous because God didn't tell her anything, you know. So... So uh, some, some months went past, the lady finally called my daughter and thanked my daughter for the warning and told my daughter this. She said, I got out of that situation. I took my son or my child and we went to another state. I got, you know, new employment. And I just want to thank you for giving me that warning and saved my life. She said her ex-boyfriend got with this other woman after she left beat the woman to death and now he's sitting in prison yep so you see how god wants to use us in the workplace everybody's not called to preach you know in front of a pulpit in a church god is using people in the workplace you are positioned in the workplace to bring deliverance child of god Okay, and to pray and intercede for people. You don't want people up in there lost. People in there lost. And it's not just, this is not just a message on physical abuse. Some of y'all going through verbal abuse. Verbal attacks on the job. People attacking you. You ain't even did nothing to them. But they're attacking you verbally. They're trying to discredit you or make you look a certain way. That's a form of abuse. That's an abusive spirit. Uh, some of y'all uh, being abused spiritually. Every time you go to church, every time you go worship God, you got to go through some drama in your house. You see what I'm saying? Because you unequally yoked. You got to keep praying for them kind of people. But if you getting hands laid on you, and somebody's verbally destroying your spirit where you can't function and you can't, you can't be a human, you need to come up out that situation. You need to seek help at a shelter or somebody uh, that you trust, like a family member who ain't scared to lay hands on somebody or pull up a weapon in case a crazy person try to do something crazy. Because a lot of times these um, people who are uh, abusers, they'll shoot up and kill up everybody in the house. So you got to be somewhere where you don't want nothing to happen to your mama or your daddy or, or your sister or your brother or your friends. I suggest you go to a shelter. Get to a shelter. You need to file a police report. 
And you need to stay away from people who are trying to destroy you. And you have to choose better. You have to know that you are valuable to God. God don't want any of his daughters being beat on. Okay? You're not supposed to have hands laid on you. You're not supposed to be verbally um, abused or attacked in your home or on your job. If that's going on on your job, you talk to God about it. God will take care of your enemies. He'll remove your enemies that are attacking you. But as far as your home, you can't be living like that. God did not call you to be mistreated and abused. Okay? So this is Lois Banks coming to you uh, from the Lois Banks show. I did send a message on my Facebook page that I would share this um, message um, on my video just to let people know um, about, you know, being uh, verbally abused and uh, physically abused. You, that ain't nothing to be dealing with. Nope. And I'm not going to let no man hit me. I love God. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. You come at me, I'm coming at you. Okay? I ain't playing. Yeah, I love the Lord. Mm-hmm. I cast out demons. Mm-hmm. I give verbal commands and, and miracles happen. And I will fight you. You hear me? You're not going to hit me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you back. You better watch it. I ain't playing with you. I don't be playing with nobody hitting on me. And then women, too. My dad said, uh, you don't jump up in no man's face. Like, if you angry at a man... And he didn't did something he ain't had no business doing. And you upset about something. My, said, my dad said, don't be jump. Don't you jump up in that man's face. You might ball up his fist and knock your lights out. Don't do that. You're going to shut your mouth. Go somewhere. Control your anger. Cool yourself down. And talk rationally. Wait for the anger to simmer. And talk rationally. You don't jump up in no man's face. My dad taught me that growing up. Don't do that. Okay. And um, I have a, I have a friend who ministers to abuse women um, in a shelter. Now I'm not gonna say all shelters are like this, but this one particular shelter that she was ministering to a uh, women at. Uh, most of the women were being abused by their husbands who were preachers, yeah, pastors of churches. They were first ladies, first ladies of churches. These fake pastors would get into church talking about God's love, smile fakely with the congregation in the church, and then go home and beat on their wives. And you know they ain't none of God. God don't know nothing about them kind of people. God ain't in no relationship with no man who beat on women. Some Something psychologically and spiritually is wrong with a person who does that. So, I'm just saying to you, um, listen, you, you find yourself a better situation. You get up out of there, you do better than that. Okay, if somebody laying hands on you, get up out of there. You don't have no business being around nobody beating your tail. Okay? This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. God loves you. I love you. And Jesus is Lord and Jesus will fix it.